400 miles west of Sydney, near the town of Parks, a symbol of the space age has been brought into being, a giant radio telescope to enable scientists to probe many times deeper into space than the world's largest optical telescope at Mount Palomar in California, an instrument to explore the depths of space and time. Panels of mesh woven from high tensile steel wire, which form part of the reflector, were assembled on the ground. The completed panels were then lifted by a tall derrick for fitting to the dish-shaped reflector, which is 210 feet in diameter. The panels are galvanized, the zinc coating not only being corrosion resistant, but providing a highly conductive skin to give radio reflective properties to the mesh. Built at a cost of 800,000 pounds, its completion has been of great significance to scientific circles throughout the world. Through a maze of dials and instruments, radio astronomy observations can proceed by day as well as night in any weather. Engineers are on duty at all times. The master equatorial unit, the heart of the control system, is actually a small telescope which may be pointed and made to move wherever required, the telescope following it exactly. The control desk is located on the top floor of the tower. A slave model in a plastic dome shows the controller exactly where the telescope is pointing. Today, the telescope is occupied with a full-time research program in radio astronomy. Offering facilities not available on any other instrument, it is contributing valuable information in a number of studies. Prominent among these are a detailed examination of the structure of our own galaxy and a survey into the outermost regions of the universe and search for clues as to its origin. Part of its time will be devoted to tracking space vehicles as they explore the accessible regions of our solar system. Perhaps soon, some more exciting answers to the baffling and intriguing questions of outer space.